everybody is in home office and everybody has these super important meetings you have to do online with Teams or Skype or Zoom or Jitsi or whatever tool you need. And usually your webcam isn't the greatest. You look horrible on it. Colors are weird. Everybody sees the mess in your background. And this fancy background substitution stuff doesn't really work. So your hair is always in a halo. And um, if you put something weird, then you can see through the stuff. So what do you need for a decent meeting? So of course, audio. Tiny built-in microphones are horrible. So get a decent microphone, get an external sound card. This is uh, the Behringer Euphoria UMC202 I'm using and a T-Bone microphone from Thoman. Next thing you're gonna need is a decent camera. So I have my Fuji camera, uh, which has an HDMI output and I'm feeding that HDMI output into an Ava Media game capture thingy, which converts from HDMI to something which is transmitted over USB. Next thing you need is light, lots of light. You never ever can have enough light for video. So get out what you find. You also want to hide the mess behind you so that your colleagues don't see the chaos in your room. So you will need a green screen. This can be any old green bed cloth but you can also get them for cheap from the photo um, accessory market. And to make stuff ridiculously overcomplicated, also get a Stream Deck from Elgato, which is a nice programmable macro keyboard which you can use to control your setup. And just in case that I forgot to mention it, you need light, more light, even more light. Get more, more, more and more lights. Of course, we also need some software. So we are using OBS Studio, which you can get on obsproject.com. It's open source and free and you get it for Windows, Mac and Linux. And our nice company IT also has it in the company app store. Then you will need a plugin for it called OBS Virtual Cam. So the first thing you find when you Google for it is this page. So just follow this link to OBS Virtual Cam 205 or whatever is newer. This is a plugin which allows you to use the output of OBS as a virtual webcam. After I've installed OBS, just go to the download link and install the plugin as well. If you are on a Mac, then also just follow obsproject.com, go to the macOS link and install it. And you will need OBS Mac Virtual Cam, which you can find on GitHub in the account of John Boyles. Um, there is an installation guide, so you just install OBS, you get the package from the release page, and then you install it. You might actually need to um, enter your password and maybe grant it permission to do so. And then you're basically set up to go. I'm showing you now this on my Mac. Um, it also works on Windows exactly the same way. The reason why I'm showing you on my Mac is um, I will do some stuff which I don't want to do on the corporate laptop. So um, the most of the stuff just works. Green screen and so on is perfectly fine on the company laptop. Uh, the audio stuff I'm doing will be a bit triggery and I don't think that corporate IT will love it. So we have started OBS. Um, right now it starts up completely empty and um, we now have to add our sources. So the main camera is turned on. All the lights are turned on. So I just add the camera. So this is called a uh, video source uh, here, Video Aufnahmegerät in German. 
Um, so let's just give it the, a name. It's called camera, camera. And then I can choose the device and the camera is connected to the Live Gamer Portable 2 Plus. So I will choose that. You could also use your uh, onboard webcam and other stuff. So you also see there's this OBS virtual camera device, which is what we use later. And here you see me and just by the new camera, you see already my hair looks nicer. I look shaven and even the shirt looks uh, like a business shirt. So that's the camera. Um, defaults are okay, I think. Um, you will see also there the GoPro. I'm recording everything, so this has to go before the meeting starts. So we have a camera. Right now it's a bit smaller than the um, actual scene, so we just put it in a size we would like it. Um, this is right now the um, just camera with green background. Um, I will now add a filter. So the first thing I will do is uh, color correction. So I add a color, color corrector, um, just bump up saturation a bit, um, just let it there. And then, um, sorry, I need another filter. I could have just gone here and clicked on add and I go on chroma key. And the chroma key just keys out the green and just by default it already looks pretty pretty well. So um, I don't think I need to work on that. So I can change a bit on the similarity value. Looks pretty good. Smoothing I can turn off a bit because this is... Huh? Looks quite nice. Also with the, so the, this chair has this woven stuff there, which um, creates this nice moiré, but with green screen, sometimes you get funky effects. Um, and boom, we're done. So I'm cut out. You don't see the background anymore. Um, so let's do another scene. Uh, just call this life. Um, where we will add the camera. So I just add this by the existing scene, adding the existing scene. So I'm back on camera. And I want to add a uh, background. So um, I want to add a media source. Uh, just make a new one, a local file. And where did I put those files? So there they are in Niels. Uh, bup, bup, bup. Movies, where's movies, 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 YouTube. And there is relaxing palm tree. So, and I now need to move that back and bam. I'm on a tropical island and um, I can shift this a bit so that uh, whoop, here we are mirror and now the tree is on the right per uh, side and here we go and this is right now all we need for the green screen setup. So um, the next thing we would need is to just start the um, virtual camera, which is under tools, start virtual camera. And then uh, just start the video conference tool of your choice. Uh, so let's me just use whereby. Um, also works in Teams and everything, and bam, you're on your web page. So join the meeting, and I'm in the meeting, so nobody else is in the, me in the meeting, of course, but um, I'm sitting on a tropical island. And this is just the basic setup. So um, let's start with the fun part. So I switch to a different layout now, different scene. Um, I'm recording with OBS itself now because uh, some stuff I want to show you uh, only works when I show it to you with OBS running. 
So what I did is I added a screen capture so you can see the screen in the background. I added myself in the bottom right and I added audio so that you can hear me talking. So um, this would then also just be transmitted to your video conferencing tool when you run OBS virtual camera. And what you want, for example, to do is something where uh, you want to go for a P and don't want to show that you left. So um, you just add an image source, for example. So uh, I have now, where is it, images. Yes. So I have this one, which is from a German TV station. Uh, when they had a problem, they sent this bitch to all. So what you can do is just take this and cover the whole screen with it. So like this. And then you have this little eye icon here where you can turn that on and off. And you have this fancy effect that it goes into infinity because of the feedback loop. So you go to the loo, you just put it on pitch wrong and then uh, turn off the audio, of course, and um, just disappear for a second. Okay, so the funny thing is you can also do that with animated GIFs. So if I add an image, um, just a new one, let's call that WW for Wayne's World. Um, just open up the GIF and you're done. So then you can have, oops, you need to click it and click on the image itself. It's sometimes a bit tricky. And then you can have a GIF, animated GIF, instead of your standard image when you go for a P or just for effect or whenever you want to show that image. Um, you can also put in video loops and basically every other source and just set it up. You can put a di uh, slideshow or a movie or even a website. So there's tons of sources you can put on it. So far we didn't have anything with sound and on the video conference setting you had to choose the computer audio input as your microphone. So what is if we want to play something where you want to have the sound from a video file or actually from uh, YouTube or whatever else? And there you need additional software. And that's the stuff where I think company IT won't be too happy if you start messing around there with the sound drivers as well. So um, on the Mac, uh, you would need I show you audio capture, uh, which you can get from shinywhitebox.com. And uh, this is just, you know, just install it and you're more or less done. You will then also select it in your um, settings for the conference set, uh, device. So you have a camera as your uh, virtual camera device. I show you audio capture as the um, audio device. And this device basically um, takes the computer audio, which normally would go to the loudspeakers or to your headphones and uh, sends it out as a microphone signal. And then where's OBS? There we are. So um, right now I'm recording my stuff and I've added here this video. Um, so if I show this video, then you just get a short badoom. And that's it. And uh, if you share that on your video, you probably wouldn't have heard anything. So what you need to do is um, go to, nope, not there. So I first set it to endless loop that I can um, work with it. So um, it's now working all the time and you probably hear it all the all, um, all the time making badooms. Um, but we want to go uh, to the extended audio uh, stuff and then set here the monitoring and um, and recording um, as um, setting. This audio monitoring also sends it out to your uh, PC speakers. So um, I also hear it, hear it now on my monitor. So um, just get the endless loop out. Uh, 
and then it's just running once and it's done and you can use that for example as some kind of uh, you're making a very bad joke and you go badum and everybody laughs in case you're wondering what the stream deck does um you it's a macro keyboard so you can program the keys as you like and i'm using that to control the obs scenes right now so we have this badoom thing here and uh, what I did is I set up on the Stream Deck um, a button with OBS Studio connected, uh, just saying here source, um, gave it the title Badoom. Uh, it's in the scenes, telco scenes, uh, the actual scene screen record, and there's the source Badoom, which you can turn on and off. So I can also, took, for example, take another one, Add a source, uh, telco scenes, camera, no, I want to go to screen record because that's the one I'm in. Uh, and put on, for example, the Wayne's World. So just name it Wayne's World. And um, it's already active. So um, I can now press the button on the Elgato and it starts Wayne's World. And I can press it again and it goes away. Or I can do the Badumts and it goes away. So this is the really nice, easy soundboard thing. So just press a button and get a special effect. Um, so um, right now you have all the tools you will need to uh, create havoc in your next meeting and to uh, completely take the seriousness out of it. So you have the power of a green screen, you have the power of a video editing software, you have the possibility to route multiple sources to your webcam, you have the possibility to route audio to your webcam or to your conferencing site. And uh, you can just do funny stuff with that now. Just to give you some stupid ideas what you can actually do. So you can do green screen, overlay, underlay. You can do various things. I showed you how to do it. And now it's up to you. So you can do something like <coughs> Velociraptors in the background. You can do something like these jokes. Or huh? if you have a question, you just go, huh? Huh? Or if, for example, if you don't want to show your colleagues that you already started drinking gin tonic around lunchtime, uh, you can do something like setting a video of you instead of yourself. And then you're in the background and this is the real me. This is the recorded me. And so I can now have my gin tonic without everybody noticing. While I still look very interested in the meeting. And of course, you can go off with a boom. So thanks for watching and have fun and happy messing up corporate meetings.